What is change data capture? Change data capture is a style of data movement. And we think about moving data from one source to another source. Traditional data movement is around bulk. I'm using an ETL tool. I'm taking a set of this data and I'm moving this data from one source system to another system. And the challenge with this is that I've got a batch window or, or, or a period of time where I can move all this data. Different way to do it is change data capture. Change data capture is capturing every change and transaction in real time from that database and moving it to the target in real time. The benefit with change data capture, it's a very efficient way to move data across a wide area network, perfect for the cloud. It's delivering this data in real time, which is wonderful for analytics or real-time fraud detection, more modern styles of analytics. It's great for moving data into a stream uh, processing engine like Kafka. But all change data capture is not created equally. So there's kind of three main styles of doing change data capture. One, and the best way to do this, is log-based. So every database, when a new transaction comes in, it gets logged into a log file. And you can pick up those changes and then move those changes from the log. Very efficient, no impact on the source system. That's the way you want to approach change data capture. The two other ways are more invasive to those source systems. One is by doing query-based. So I need something like a timestamp in the data itself. So I'm querying the data to pick up those changes. Another way to do that is by triggers. I need to change the application to, to trigger the right to a change table and then move it. So change data capture, it's really the, the optimal way to move data for a wide variety of use cases. It may be moving data into a data warehouse, a data lake. You may be creating an operational data store or a replica of that data in real time. And more and more people are thinking about change data capture and log-based change data capture as the way to move this data. I hope you found this interesting. Please check out more of our videos.